Hi there, I'm John from CNCRI.com and today we're going to paint fill stainless steel. I had a customer ask me the other day if we could do paint filling of stainless steel uh, for their specific application. They needed something that was color, which is something that's very hard to do with stainless steel, and they needed something that would last the elements and last a very long time. But again, full color and very high visibility. Now here's the result. Uh, the dragon here is the paint fill. This is just etching, as is this and this. And you can see, regardless of the angle, you totally see the dragon. Now this is a little bit complicated because you can't just paint on stainless steel. What will happen is that it will come off because stainless steel is such a smooth and dense material. There's not much for paint adhesion. Now in this case here, what I did is I started my uh, Trotec Speedy 400 Flex and I used the fiber diode. And with the fiber diode, what I actually did was etch out the dragon. Now why would I want to etch out the dragon? That creates maybe a, a sand grit uh, paper equivalent of like one grit. And, and it's extremely rough. And that's perfect for enamel paint for, for adhesion to it.
One of the problems with using a fiber laser on stainless steel is that the steel itself gets extremely hot. That's why there was no masking applied to this when I did the etching. Just a quick review, this is etching, this is annealing. So if I just annealed the surface where I wanted the dragon, that would be no good at all because it's still just as smooth as the rest of the stainless steel. If I do the etching, as you can see, you can even hear it, it's extremely rough. So after I did the laser work, what I have to do is apply a mask over it and then cut out that mask. The mask saves me a lot of time uh, cleaning and preparation wise because I'm only cutting out the area that I want to paint. Even with enamel paint, it is still tricky to do this kind of design on here. There are definitely some limitations because any paint that goes on the area that is not etched easily just comes off even with your, just your fingernail. Now the challenge with that is that when you're painting this, you're doing a perfect mask, you remove the mask, but then what you have to do is seal everything. If you don't seal everything, you end up with the same issue that you had to begin with, which means that the paint starts to come off. This is one of the challenges with stainless steel. So at a very close view here, you can see that maybe the edges are just a little bit blurry around here. But for this customer's application, it was going to be a sign that was way back here and it would have been totally fine for that application. So there are some definite limitations to this uh, technology if you want to put it that way. But there is a way to make uh, colored stainless steel plaques. <music>